Ganaganatam Samsarada Nagali the Loka Tranaya Karuna Ganaganatam Propta Sakalyana Gurunana Vasya Vande Gurashi Charanarovrindam Prabhdasakalyana Gurnana Vasa Vande Gurashi Charanarovrindam Vande Gurashi Charanarovrindam Vande Gurashi Charanarovrindam Charanara Vrinda Bande Gurashi Charanara Vrinda Mahaprabhu Kir Tananita Gita Baditra Madhya Manasura Sena Romancha compass through Taranga Baju Bande Gurashi Charunuru Vrindam Romancha compass through Taranga Baju Bande Gurashi Shri Vigraharo Dana Nita Nana Shingaratanamu Nirama Janado Jokta Savaktam Sa Neyonja Topi Bande Guru Shri Charanaro Vrindam Chatur Vidha Shri Bhagavad Prasadu Satvana Truptan Hari Bhakta Sangha Chatur Vidha Shri Bhagavad Prasadu Satvana Truptan Krita Eva Truptim Vajata Shadeva Bande Guru Shri Charanara Vrindam Shradi Kama Dabayara Pāra Madhura Lila Gunarupa Namna Madhura Lila Gunarupa Namna Pratikshana Swadhana Lalupasya Bande Gura Shri Charanara Vrindam Ne Kunja Yuno Pratikali Siddhai Jajali Vir Juktir Apekshaniya Tatra ti dakshar ati valabhasya Bande guru shri charanara vrindam Sri 
Sachadharidvino Shamasta Shashrin Ruktasta Tha Vavyataiva Sadavi Into Pravorja Priya Evotasya Bande Gurashi Charono Rovindo Into Pravorja Priya Evotasya Isya Prisada Bhagavad Prisada Yasha prasadam nagati kutapi Yasha prasadam nagati kutapi Dayam Yasa trin sandyam Bande guru shi Charano rovrindu Dayam Shamsaru dava Nalalida loka Tranaya karuna Gana gana Prapta se kalya na gurna na vasya bande gurashi charana rovrinda. Prapta se kalya gurna na vasya bande gurashi. Jaya prabhu pada, jaya prabhu pada. Jaya Prabhupada, Shila Prabhupada. <coughs> jai Jai Guru De, Guru De, Guru De, Jai Jai Guru De. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namine Nama Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Namaste Sarasvati Deve Bhauravani Prachau Rine Nirvishesha Shunavadi Pachata de Sata Pine Namaste Sarasati Deve Gauravani Pacha Nidvishe Sa Shunavani Pachata de Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhara Shivasari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Shri Krishna Chaitanya Chaitanya Dananda Jai 
Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nitananda Shri Adeta Gadadhar Shivasari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitana Prabhu Nitananda Ananda Jaya Deita Gora Bhakta Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nitana Shri Adweta Gadadhar Shivasari Gora Bhakta Vrinda Shri Krishna Tana Nitananda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Rama, Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare. Hari Hari Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Rama Hari Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Oh, Hare Krishna, oh, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, oh, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare. Hare Krishna, oh. Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Ram, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
ಹರಿಯಾರಾಯ ನಮ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಾಧವಾಯ ನಮ ಜಾಧವಾಯ ಮಾಧವಯ ಕೇಶಾವಯ ನಮ ಗೋಪಾಲ್ ಗೋವಿಂದ ರಾಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಧುಸೂದ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗೋಪಿನ ಮದನ ಮೋಹನ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಆದಿತ್ಯ ಸೀತ ಹರಿ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಭಗವತ ಗೀತ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸನತನ್ ಭತರ ಗುಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಜೀವ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಭತ್ತ ದಸರ ಗುಣ ಶಿಶಿರಾಧ ನೀಲ ಮಧವ ರಾಧ ನೀಲ ಮಧವ ರಾಧೆ ಜಯ ಜಗನಥ ಬಾಲದೇವ ಸುಭದ್ರಮ ಜಯ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಚಕ್ರ ಜಯ ಸೀತಾರ ಜಯ ಸೀತಾರ ಸೀತಾರ ಜಯ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಹನುಮ ನೀತಾ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ನೀತಾ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾರ ಪರಮಂಸ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಜಗಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಸುತ್ತರ ಸರಿ ಶಿಶಿಮಾರ್ ಈ ಜಿಫಾನ್ ಗ್ವೇಶ್ ಅಭಯಚರ ಭಿನ್ನ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿರಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಶೇಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾರ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಇಸ್ಕಾನ್ ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಾ ಬಿಭಿತಿ ಸಾಂಸ್ತಪಕಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರಿಪಾವನ ವೈಶ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಮನಿ ಶಿಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾರ್ಜಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಪಾರ ಪರಮಂಸ ಪ್ರಭಾ ಜಗಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಅಷ್ಟೋತ್ತರ ಸರಿ ಶಿಶಿಮಾ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾರ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗುರು ವರ್ಗಾಪತಿ ತು ಧಾರ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ರೂಪ ಸನಾತನ ಭತ್ರ ಗುಣಾಚಿ ಜೀವ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಭತ್ತ ದಾಸ ಗುಣ ಸದ್ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಮ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಜಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಅನಂತಕುರ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವ ಇಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ ಸಿ ಕೋ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗಾಧ ಶಿವಾಸರಿ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪರಮ ದಯಾಳ ಶ್ರೀ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಪ್ರಭು ಕಿ ಜಯ ಪ್ರೇಮ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಜನಕ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಸಚಿನಂದನ ಶ್ರೀಮನ್ ಗೌರಂಗ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ಮಾವರಣ ಅವತಾರ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಗೋಲೋಕೀರ ಪ್ರಮಧಾನ ಹರಿನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಯಜ್ಞ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜುಗ ಧರ್ಮ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಬೃಹತ್ ನಿಧಾಂಗ ಟ್ರೈಂಜ್ ನೈನ್ ತುಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಸೇವ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೋಪ್ ಗೋಪಿನಾಥ ರಾಧಾ ಕುಂದ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಕುಂದ್ ಗಿರಿರಾಜ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಬ್ರಜಪಿಂ ವೃಂದಾವನ್ ಮಥುರ್ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ 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 ರಾಧ ನೀಲ ಮಾರವ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಯಾ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಮಧ್ಯಪೇಕ ಚಕ್ರ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಪರಮ ಕರುಣ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಗೋರ ನಿತಾಯ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ಕೇತ್ರ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಪುರಿ ಧಾಮ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಶ್ರೀ ಜಗನ್ನಾಥ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬಲದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಭು ಸ್ಮಸ್ಪದ್ರ ದೇವಿ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಚಕ್ರ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸೀತ ರಾಮ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮಣ ಹನುಮಾನ್ ಜಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಜಗಂಗಾ ಮಾಯ ಜಮುನಾ ಮಾಯ ಕಿ ತುಳಸಿ ಮಹಾರಾಣಿ ವೃಂದ ದೇವಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ದೇವಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ರಾಧಾರಾಣಿ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶಮವೇತ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಜಯ ನಿತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಮಾನಂದೇ all glories to assembly bodies all glories to assembly bodies all glories to assembly bodies august shigun shigoranga hari bo
Now, oh, my kid, okay. Namaste Narasingaya. Namaste Narasingaya. Namaste Narasingaya. Hiranyakashi Purvakshaha Shilatankana Kalae Hito Narsimha Parato Narsimha Yato yato yamita to nasimha. Bahi nasimha di daye nasimha. Nara simha madim sharanam prapadi. Tava kara kamala vare na kam adbuta shingam dalita iranya kashipu tanu bringam keshavadrita narhari rupa Jai Jagadish Hare Jai Jagadish Hare Jai Jagadish Hare Kamala Vare Nakam Adbuta Shringa Dalita Hiranya Kashipu Tanu Bringam Keshavadrita Narahari Rupa Jai Jagadish Hare Jai Jagadish Hare Jai Jagadish Hare Jaya Nashinga Dev Nashinga Dev Nashinga Dev Jaya Nashinga Dev Dev Jaya Nashinga Dev Jaya Bhakta Pralat Jaya Bhakta Pralat Bhakta Prala Jaya Bhakta Prala Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pat Prabhu Pat Prabhu Pat Jaya Jaya Prabhu Pat Nittai Gaura Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Nittai Gaura Hari Bol.
श्रीमती तुलसी महारानी वृंद की वृंद तुलसी की भाई पियाई के विष्णु भक्ति प्रदीदी सतवत विष्णु भक्ति प्रदेवे सतवताय नम
राधा गोविंद प्रेम सदा नव दिन कृष्ण जाने का निशपने ब्रह्म तारे का निश तन तन प्रण संत पर पड़े पड़े जने कनी सपने ब्रह्म तारे का निश तने तने प्रण संत पर पड़े पड़े हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय तो से महारानी वृंद देवी जय तो से महारानी जय वृंद देवी श्री वृंद तुलसी देवाई प्रिया के सब सत्य विष्णु भक्ति प्रद देवी सतवत नमो नम बृंदाई आई तुलसी देवाई पियाई के सब सत्य विष्णु भक्ति प्रद देवी सतवत नमो नम वृंदाई तुलसी देवाई प्रिया के सब सत विष्णु भक्ति प्रद देवी सतवत नमन चमदी तुलस मारन वृंद देवी की जाय Beloved Krishna, I bow before you again and again. My desire is to obtain the service of Shri Radha and Krishna. 
Whoever takes shelter of you as wishes fulfilled, bestow your mercy upon him, you make him resident of Vrindavan. My desire is that you also give me a residence in Pleasure Grove, Sri Vrindavan. Thus, within my vision, I will always behold the beautiful pastimes of Raja and Krishna. I beg you to make me a follower, Kavi Dames and Zobraj. Please give me the privilege of devotional service and make me your own maid servant. This very fallen and lowly servant of Krishna prays. May I always say in love, Shri Shri Radha, Govindishmati Trusmarani, Brindari Vikija. Shri Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Shri Krishna Kam Ki Jai. Chaito Darpanam, Janam Bhava Mahatavani Nirvapanam, Shri Yakariva Chandika Vittaranam, Vidya Vadu Jeevanam, Anandam Budivar Dhanam, Pratipadam Purna Mrita Swadhanam, Sarvatmasnam Param Param Vijayate, Shri Krishna Sankirtanam, Nam Nam Akari Vaudha, Nija Sarva Shakti, Tatra Pita Niyamita Shmarani Nakala, Itadrushi Tavakripa Bhagavan Mamapi, Durdahe Vamidrishamiyajani Nanuraga, Trinada Pi Suni Chena, Tarora Pi Sahishnuna, Amani Namana Dena, Kirtaniya Sadahari, Nadhanam na janam na sundari, kavitam va jagadi shakamai, mama janmani janmani shwari, bhavatar bhakti rahoi tukitvai, ai nandatanuja kinkaram, patitam maam visame bhavam budu, kripaya tava pada pankajastita duli sadrisham vichintaya, nayanam galora shrudharaya, Padanam gadagada rudaya gira Pulakai vichitamba pukada Tavanam agrahane babisati Juga itam nemishena Chakusha prursa itam Sunya itam jagata sarvam Govinda ve rahename As lishava padaratam pinastumam Adarshanar marmahatam karotuva Jata tata babida la tulampato, but prana tas tu sa evana para. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. She is the Kyastakam Kijai. Namo Mahavaran Naya Krishna Prima Prida, I take Krishna, Krishna Choitan and Amini, go to Tushi. Glory is to the Sri Krishna Sankirtan, which cleanses the heart of the dust accumulated for years and extinguishes the five conditions of life or a period of birth and death. This Sankirtan movement is the prime benediction for humanity at large because it spreads the rays of the benediction moon. It is the life all transcendental knowledge. It increases the ocean of transcendental bliss and enables us to fully test the nectar for which we are always anxious. O oh my Lord, your holy name alone can rain the old benediction to living beings. And thus you have hundreds and millions of names like Krishna and Govind. In these transcendental names, you have invested all your transcendental energies. There is not even hard and fast rules for chanting these names. O oh my Lord, out of kindness, you enable us to easily approach you by holy names. But I am so unfortunate that I have no attraction for them. Once you chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself lower than the throne street, one should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of all sense, false prestige, and should be ready to offer all respect to others. In such state of mind, one can change the name of the Lord constantly. O Almighty God, I have no desire to accumulate wealth, nor do I desire beautiful women, nor do I want any number of followers. I only want your castle divorce from service, birth after birth. O son of Maharaj Nanda Krishna, I am your eternal servitor, yet some or other I've fallen in this ocean of birth and death. Please pick me up from this ocean of death and place me as one of the atoms at the your lotus feet. O my Lord, who will my eyes be decorated with tears of love flowing constantly when I chant your holy name? Or will my voice choke up 
I will the hairs in my body stand at the end of the recitation of your name. Oh, Govinda, feeling your separation, I consider a moment to be like 12 years or more. Tears are flowing from my eyes, the torrents of rain, and I feel all vacant in the world and you are absent. I know no one but Krishna as my Lord, and he sure remains so. Even if it handles him rightfully by his embrace, or makes me broken-hearted by not being present before me. He is completely free to do anything and everything, for he's always my worshipful Lord and condition. Now let us offer our respectful, oh sorry. There are 10 offenses in matter of chanting the holy name of the Lord and they must be avoided. They are as follows. One, to blaspheme devotees who dedicate their life for the propagation of the holy name of the Lord. Two, to consider names of demigods and Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma to be equal to or independent of the name of Lord Vishnu. Three, to disobey the orders of the spiritual master. Four, to blaspheme the Vedic literature or literature and pursuance of Vedic version. Five, to consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna as imagination. Six, to give some interpretation of the holy name of the Lord. Seven, to commit sinful activities on strength of chanting the holy name of the Lord. Eight, to consider chanting Hare Krishna as one of the auspices ritualistic activities of invaders as fruitive activity, karma kanda. Nine, to instruct the faithless person by the glories of the holy name. And ten, to not have complete faith in chanting the holy names and to maintain material attachments, even after understanding so many instructions in this matter. It also an offense to be inattentive while chanting. Every devotee who claims to be Vaishnava must carefully guard against these ten offenses in order to quickly achieve desired success. Krishna Prem. Now let us offer our respectful obeisances unto all the Vaishnavas, the devotees of the Lord. They are just like desired trees. They can fulfill the desires of everyone, and they are full of compassion for the fallen, conditioned souls. Vancha kalpataru vesha Shimad Bhagavatam Grantaraja Ki Jai Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Tene Brahma Hidaya Adikava Ye Muyantiyat Sura Yaha Tene Brahma Hidaya Adikava Ye Muyantiyat Sura Yaha Tejo Vari Madam Yata Vini Mayo Yatra Chisago Mesha Tejo Vari Madam Yata Vini Mayo Yatra Chisago Mesha Damna 
Tasmina Sada Nirasta Kuhakam Satyam Param Dimahi O my Lord Sri Krishna son of Vasudeva O my Lord Sri Krishna son of Vasudeva O all pervading personality of Godhead O all pervading personality of Godhead for my respectful obeisances unto you I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. I meditate upon Lord Sri Krishna because he is the absolute truth. And the primal cause of all causes. And the primal cause of all causes. Of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. Of the creation, sustenance, and destruction of the manifested universes. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. He is directly and indirectly conscious of all manifestations. And he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. And he is independent because there is no other cause beyond him. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge into the heart of Brahmaji. It is he only who first imparted the Vedic knowledge into the heart of Brahmaji. The original living being. The original living being. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. By him, even the great sages and demigods are placed into illusion. As one is bewildered by the illusory representations of, one is bewildered by the illusory representations of water seen on fire or land seen on water. Only because of him do the material universes. Only because of him do the material universes. Temporarily manifested by the reactions of the three modes of nature. Temporarily manifested by the reaction of the three modes of nature. Appear factual, although they are unreal. Appear factual, although they are unreal. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna. I therefore meditate upon him, Lord Sri Krishna. Who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode. Who is eternally existent in the transcendental abode. Which is forever free from the illusory representations in the material world. Which is forever free from the illusory representations in the material world. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. I meditate upon him, for he is the absolute truth. Dharma projita kaitra votra. Dharma projita kaitra votra. Paramo nirmatsaranam satam. Paramo nirmatsaranam satam. Vedyam vastava matra vastu. Vedyam vastava matra vastu. Shivadam tapa trayon mulanam. Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Shimad Bhagavate Mahamuni Krite. Kim Vapare Ishwaraha. Kim Vapare Ishwaraha. Sadyo Hridi Avurudya Tetra. Sadyo Hridi Avurudya Tetra. Kriti Bihi Susu Shubhis Takshana. Kriti Bihi Susu Shubhis Takshana. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. Completely rejecting all religious activities which are materially motivated. This Bhagavata Purana propounds the highest truth. Which is understandable by those those devotees which are fully pure in heart, who are fully pure in heart. Which is understandable by those devotees who are fully pure in heart. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. The highest truth is reality distinguished from illusion for the welfare of all. Such truth uproots the threefold miseries. Such truth uproots the threefold. This beautiful Bhagavatam compiled by the great sage Vyasadeva in his maturity. Is sufficient in itself for God realization. What is the need of any other scripture? As soon as one attentively and submissively hears the message of Bhagavatam, by this culture of knowledge, the Supreme Lord is established within his heart. Nigama kalpaturur galitam falam. Sukamukad amrita dravya samyutam. Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam. Pibata Bhagavatam Rasam Alayam. Muhur Ahuraska Bhuvibhavukaha. Muhur Ahuraska Bhuvibhavukaha. O expert and thoughtful man, relish Srimad Bhagavatam. O expert and thoughtful man, relish Srimad Bhagavatam. The mature fruit of the desire tree of Vedic literatures. The mature fruit of the desire tree of Vedic literatures. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadeva Goswami. It emanated from the lips of Sri Sukadeva. Therefore, this. Uh, okay. Therefore, this. Um, uh, no. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Therefore, this fruit has become even more tasteful. Although its nectarian juice was already relishable for all, including liberated souls. Shrimad Bhagavatam Granthraj Ki Jai. I mean, sorry. Shinvata Swakata Krishna. Punya Shravana Kirtana Hidyantaksto Bhadrani Hidyantaksto Bhadrani 
Vidunoti Suhitsatam to hear about Krishna from Vedic literatures. Or to hear from him directly through the Bhagavad Gita is itself righteous activity. And for one who hears about Krishna, Lord Krishna is dwelling within everyone's heart, acts as a best-wishing friend, and purifies the devotee who constantly hears about him. In this way, a devotee naturally develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam. I'm sorry. Nasta Presu Bhadvesu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Sloke Bhakti Bhavati Naistaki. In this way, a devotee naturally develops his dormant transcendental knowledge. As he hears more about Krishna from the Bhagavatam and from the devotees, he becomes fixed in the devotional service of the Lord. Tadarajas tamo bhavo kama loba dayas chaye chaita itaira navidam stitvam satve prasidati by development of devotional service of the Lord, I'm sorry, by development of devotional service, one becomes freed from the modes of passion and ignorance. And thus, material loss and avarice are diminished. Evam prasana manaso bhagavat bhakti yogataha bhagavat tattva vigyana Mukta Sangasya Jayate. When these impurities are wiped away, the candidate remains steady in his position of pure goodness, becomes enlivened by devotional service, and understands the science of God perfectly. Vidyate Hridaya Grantis Shidyante Sarvasamsaya Siyante Chasikarmani Drista Evatmani Swade. Thus Bhakti Yoga severs the hard knot of material affection. Thus Bhakti Yoga severs the hard knot of material affection. And enables one to come at once to the to the stage of a samsayam samagram. And enables one to come at once to the stage of a samsayam samagram. Understanding of the Supreme Absolute Truth Personality of Godhead. Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 14, Text Number, uh, Chapter 15, Text Number 1. Sutta Uvacha. Sutta Uvacha. Evam Krishna Saka Krishno. Evam Krishna Saka Krishno. Brat, bra, Ragya Vikalpita. Bratra Ragya Vikalpita. Nana Sankas Padam Rupam. Krishna Vishlesha Karsita. Translation, Sutta Goswami said, Arjuna, the celebrated friend of Lord Krishna, was grief-stricken because of his strong feelings of separation from the Lord over and above all Maharaj Yudhisthira's speculative inquiries. Purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada Kiche. Being so much aggrieved, Arjuna practically became choked up and therefore it was not possible for him to reply properly to the various speculative inquiries of Maharaj Yudhisthira. Text 2. Sukena Shushyad Vadana Sara Saro Johata Prabhu Prabha Johata Prabha Vibum Twam Evanus Maran Nashak Not 
Pati Bastitum. Translation. Due to grief, Arjuna's mouth lotus like heart and lotus like heart had dried up. Therefore his body lost all luster. Now, remembering the Supreme Lord, he could hardly utter a word in reply. Text three. Kritrena Samstabya Sucha. Paninam Rijya Nitrayo Parokshena Samunadha Pranayot Katya Katara With great difficulty, he checked the tears of grief that smeared his eyes. He was very distressed because Lord Krishna was out of his sight and he increasingly felt affection for him. Mm. There is a misprint here. So this would be okay, this is number four. Sakyam maitrim sohidam cha. Sakyam maitrim sohidam cha. Sarat yadi susam smaran. Sarat yadi susam smaran. Nripam agar agrajam itiaha. Nripam agrajam itiaha. Maspak gad gadaya jira. Remembering Lord Krishna and his well wishes, benefactions, intimate familiar, f uh, familiar uh, relations, and his chariot driving, Arjuna, overwhelmed and breathing very heavily, began to speak. Purport by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. <coughs> the Supreme Living Being is perfect in all relations with his pure devotee. Sri Arjuna is one of the typical pure devotees of the Lord, reciprocating in fraternal relationship, and the Lord's dealings with Arjuna are displays of friendship of the highest perfect order. He was not only a well-wisher of Arjuna, but actually a benefactor, and to make it still more perfect, the Lord tied him into a family relationship by arranging Subhadra's marriage with him. And above all, the Lord agreed to become a chariot driver of Arjuna in order to protect his friend from warfare risks. And the Lord became actually happy when he established the Pandavas to rule over the world. Arjuna remembered all these one after another, and thus he became overwhelmed with such thoughts. So this is very significant. It shows that in life, there are always sequences of activities. And we remember the activities that are most endearing to us. So it could be a grandmother who's especially kind to her grandchild. It could be a mother or father who sacrificed the child so that the child could grow up to be a good person or well educated, this or that. Uh, I've often heard people, uh, Indians who uh, migrated to the United States, uh, first one relative came and then that relative sacrificed as much as they could to bring the other relatives and then when that initial relative who brought everybody else dies, they all say, oh, we're eternally indebted. He did everything to help us. He brought us he, uh, to America, and we lived with him in his house, and, and he helped us get a job, this thing, that thing. So, you know, they're very appreciative of those things. But those are mundane things based on uh, sense gratification. But here, Arjuna is remembering all the 
uh, well wishes, benevolent uh, acts, and family relationship, and the uh, uh, subordination that Krishna uh, accepted in order to serve Arjuna and protect him in the battle of Kurukshetra. So it, it, it develops also physical symptoms such as breathing heavily, tears in the eyes, cracking of the voice, so forth. So, uh, Prabhupada says, the supreme living being is perfect in all relations with his pure devotee. Now that's a big statement. What does it mean, perfect in all relations with his pure devotee? Perfect in reciprocation of love and service. If you love someone, you will serve them unselfishly and and you express tender feelings of appreciation and respect and so forth. And there's no uh, contradiction or contradictory behavior in such a relationship, a pure relationship. In material relationships, there are contradictory behaviors some problem can come up in a, in a person who claims to love you or you who claim to love some person may become harsh and, or bitter in one way or another. But in a perfect uh, and pure relationship as exhibited between Krishna and Arjuna, uh, especially from the part of Krishna, he's always the benefactor, he's always kind, he's always... Uh, ready to do any service necessary to help his friend and protect him and so forth. So that unalloyed dedication is remarkable uh, and it can only really be experienced in relationship with Krishna uh, because all living entities in material world have latent material desires. As long as those desires are there, there will be some conflict in the relationship. Well, in the, when one relates to Krishna, and if, and if they do it in a very genuine way, eventually those negative influences go away. And one can exchange purely love and devotion with the Lord, because the Lord is offering love and devotion, unalloyed love and devotion from his side. So we see sometimes Krishna had to chastise Arjuna because he was expressing feelings that were... Uh, out of uh, selfish concern. So there he sa therefore he says, you know, while speaking uh, words of wisdom, you're lamenting for something that's not worthy of lamentation. So he, he, he chastises Arjuna. He says that, you know, you're, you're basically like a mundane person here uh, lamenting because one who has knowledge laments neither for the living nor for the dead, because they know the soul is eternal. He says, while speaking learned words, you are mourning for what is not worthy of grief. Those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead. So when we hear this, okay, so the, the question you asked the other day, or yesterday or the day before was, uh, about lamentation for a loved one, or in the case, why do devotees not speak about the disappearance of Krishna? Well, uh, we know that Krishna is eternal. He never, more and never dies. So, uh, when a person dies, one sees the dead body that's uh, without consciousness, and they lament. But the body that Krishna left by, behind was not his body. It looked like his body, but it was not his body. His body is such an under vigraha. So there's no reason to lament about it. There's no reason to talk about it. It's a, basically, it's a non-event. <clears throat> so those who are wise lament neither for the living nor for the dead. So... And the purport Prabhupada says, the Lord at once took the position of the teacher and chastised the student, calling him indirectly a fool. 
The Lord said, you are talking like a learned man, but you do not know that one who is learned, one who knows what is body and what is soul, does not lament for any stage of the body, neither in the living nor in the dead condition. Okay, then why would one say, why, why would one therefore chant the uh, uh, bhajan or spiritual chant, yeah, nilo premadana, where one is lamenting uh, the, uh, let's say, the disappearance of a pure devotee. Is that right? Yeah. So there's a difference between lamenting for the body of a person and expressing lamentation for the association. So Lord Chaitanya is, is shedding tears like Srimati Radharani and the gopis in, uh, uh, in Vipralamba Bhava uh, in uh, uh, the uh, feeling the separation out of love and devotion. Now, is there a difference between lamenting for the body and feeling separation uh, in this higher state of love called Vipralamba Bhava, separation, love and separation? Yes, there is. Because you're not lamenting for the body, uh, which is a temporary thing, but you're lamenting in the, but in the sense of relishing the thoughts of your loved one in separation. Therefore, Shakespeare also says, absence makes the heart grow fonder. So if your love is increased by feeling separation from Krishna, that is not a material thing. But if you're uh, crying because you will not see the body of the person that's like a parent or a loved one to and and you know enable to interact for sense gratification then that's not that's that's uh, an illusory activity say so one time i was doing a funeral for an indian man who died and the daughter of the man came up to me I said, please put this in his hand. I looked at it. I said, what is this? It's his favorite cigarettes. He wanted to hold it when he, after he died. I said, I'm not going to do that. I said, if you want to, you can do it. <laughs> so uh, is she expressing love for her father? By the way, he was a smoker and a drinker and a meat eater. Is he expressing love for, for, well, you could say love, but for the body, not for the soul, you see. So that's not real. It's, 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 it's not false, but it's not uh, real. It's illusory. There's a difference between something that is illusory, but not, but at the same time, uh, real like for example if you say if you consider a rope to be a snake and, and if you look at a rope in the dark and you think it's a snake that idea that it's a, it's a snake is is an illusion but the rope is a fact the rope actually exists but considering it to be a snake and then acting as if it's a snake all that is illusion so this vipralamba bhava is actually savoring love and separation. Although there might be shedding of tears and so forth, it's not the same as shedding tears for the loss of the body of someone that you claim to love. Okay, so Arjuna, uh, so as explained in later, chapters, it will be clear that knowledge means to know matter and spirit and the controller of both. Okay. Arjuna argued that religious principles should be given more importance than politics or society, but he did not know that knowledge of matter, soul, and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. 
So this is an important point. Uh, what are religious formularies? Well, you know, you do this shrud ceremony, you do this ceremony, that ceremony after death. And it's, it's customary, even Krishna followed that. Uh, not Krishna, but the Pandavas followed that uh, with Krishna after the death of all the people in Kurukshetra War. And they performed the obsequies or the the funeral rites, etc., in a traditional way. But, uh, as Prabhupada says here, Arjuna, Arjuna's problem was he was arguing that religious principles should be given more importance than politics or soci sociology. Okay, that makes sense. But he did not know that knowledge of matter and soul and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. So, there we have a, a uh, funeral ceremony and during the funeral ceremony the, the daughter of the deceased comes up and hands me, wants to hand me a pack of cigarettes so I put it in the hand of the corpse right because she said her her father wanted to hold his favorite cigarettes when he died right I see that there's nothing spiritual about that it's all based on the body and mundane uh, thought. So in a sense, Arjuna was somewhat similarly, uh, he was engaged in religious principles and he thought that they were more important than politics or sociology, but he did not know that knowledge of matter, soul, and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. And because he was lacking in that knowledge, he should not have posed himself as a very learned man. As he did not happen to be a very learned man, he was consequently lamenting for something which was unworthy of lamentation. So it's unworthy to lament for the loss of the body, the material body. But it's not, uh, it's not wrong to feel separation from Krishna and feel it so acutely that it actually causes tears of ecstasy rather than hot tears of material loss. Right. Okay. So the body is born and is destined to be vanquished today or tomorrow. Therefore, the body is not as important as the soul. One who knows this is actually learned. And for him, there's no cause for lamentation regardless of the condition of the material body. That does not preclude uh, vipralamba bhava or ecstatic feelings and separation of, of love for Krishna. It's different than lamenting for some condition of the material body. Haribo. All glories to Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Are there any questions? Yes. Some reaction of trying this and that. Uh, basically, so for the materialistic people, that's just like imitation. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're lamenting for the wrong reason. Right. It's for the loss of the body. That means they don't understand. They don't understand what? They don't understand what Prabhupada says here, that knowledge of the body, the soul, and the super soul, or Krishna, is more important than religious formularies. What's the religious formula? Well, it's, it's performing this uh, final rites, yeah. these rituals, right? Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and adding something to the ritual, like, you know, put the cigarettes in his hand, right? <laughs> so the whole thing is based on the body. It's not based on knowledge of the soul. Well, listen to Prabhupada yesterday. Uh, so it says here, look, that Arjuna did not know that knowledge of matter, soul, 
and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. That's the key. That's in the purport to chapter 2, verse number 11. Oh, yeah. yeah. It says that mm, Arjuna argued that religious principles should be given more importance than politics or sociology. That's correct. Right? But he did not know that knowledge of matter, soul, and the supreme is even more important than religious formularies. Even more important than religious formularies. So he's got it half right. right? This is the problem. The religious formula, yeah, the religious, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? customary practices is not on the same level as knowledge of matter, soul, and the super soul. Therefore, people would be lamenting. You'd say, oh, look how much they love him. But it's, they're lamenting for the body, not the soul. It's a hard thing to understand. <laughs> father passed away and then he's lamenting so he's going to say but, but he's there lying there who is saying to him and Gopal gave very nice answer said that means he didn't know the person actually yeah he didn't know who it was really <laughs> he just thinks it's the body that's the point because the body's there and then yeah. he says he's gone yeah so who is Gopal what what went he's, he's yeah so they're lamenting for the body then I then I actually Understanding the but soul. They're lamenting for the person, but without knowing who is that person. Is. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, they're thinking it's the body. Right. They mixed. The, I mean, they kind of. Uh, yeah. yeah. They say he's gone. Yeah. Exactly. But he's right there. Yeah, what What you were <laughs> thinking was him is right there. Then what went? Was him. Yeah. But one time they say it right, he's gone. Then yeah. the soul is gone. Yeah. But at the same time, they don't know actually uh, the process. Death, well, yeah, it's only the body that, that dies. The body is not the person. It's just like a shirt. A shirt looks like it's the person when it's on the body, but when you take it off, you, you know, it's, it doesn't look the same anymore. It's, it's, just a sh it's just a piece of cloth. Is that when we say that actually people, they're looking for Krishna, but they don't know they're looking for that's why it says knowledge of the soul of matter, the soul, and the supreme is more important than religious formularies. So the body is just made of matter. It's different than the soul. And the soul is different than the super soul. When you mix those things up, then you, you're lamenti lamenting for something that's not Nothing. worth it. Yeah. That's why he says this, that knowledge is superior to religious formularies. So one can follow the religious formularies and be a mundane person in illusion. Oh, there are so many. Yeah. Like in, in your religion, they, they, they follow. They, yeah. They, but they don't realize we're not the body. Exactly right. That's the point. <laughs> so you have to know what matter is. You have to know what the soul is. You have What's to know what the super soul is. Haribo, all glories to Prabhupada. See, everything is in the Bhagavad Gita. Everything is there. But but the Bhagavad Tang is a lot more 